What's up everyone? It's me again, Sam, and welcome back to another video. This video is actually requested by the Hubs. It keeps on pushing me to do some informational or educational video like this one. So before anything else, disclaimer lah. Everything that I will be sharing today is what I have learned from my previous seminars and conferences. So I will be sharing with you about um, the most common misconceptions or the most common things that we misunderstood about rabies. So of course, if you're interested, just keep on watching. Um, they say all dogs and cats are born with rabies and it is not true um, animals are naturally born healthy of course unless they are infected with rabies um, advisable to take good care of your dogs and don't let them stray because most carriers of rabies are the stray dogs um, usually kasi nakukuha nila yan from dirt or anywhere or from a rabbit kayaan mo siyang uh, palagi lumalabas at meron siya nakitang dog na infected ng rabies at then for example mag-away sila at nakagat yung aso mo so possible transfer yung rabies from that animal dog or ma-infect yung dog mo if not vaccinated take good care of your dogs and don't let them stray have them vaccinated second one rabies in puppies and kittens are more Deadly. No matter what age group they belong, rabies is deadly. Uh, diba yung mindset natin is that kapag daw baby, baby cats or baby dogs, mas malala daw yung rabies or in our dialect or in Bisaya, mas la daw basta o um, baby pa ang animal. And it is not true as a reference to what I have said on my first um, point. All animals are naturally born healthy. So, hindi siya true na ano, na malala because whatever age group they belong, baby pa siya or adult dog na, adult kit, adult adult cat na, if they are get infected with rabies, it is always, always dead. The third one is transmission of rabies can only occur through bite of an infected animal. So rabies can be transmitted through touches, licking of wounds, and close contact with the saliva of an infected animal. So Let's go first with the scratches. Hindi natin alam, for example, yung rabid animal, na scratch ka ng rabid animal. So, hindi natin alam kung galing sila nag, ano, clean ng nails nila. Diba usually, dinidilaan nila yung, ano nila, mga kuko nila. So, if merong nakatransfer na saliva from there, sa uh, nails nila, tas na scratch ka, nagka-penetrate siya, then nakapasok yung saliva, then possible siya na mag, of course, you get infected with uh, rabies if rabid yung animal. And then for the leaking on close contact with the saliva is if you have existing or open wounds, nasugat lang kayo from any other source, hindi yung sa animals. Nasugat kayo, meron na kayong existing wound. And then, nadilaan yun ng rabid animal or dilaan nila or nalagyan ng laway nila. Yes, it could cause or na mag ma infect ka or ma transfer yung rabies. I just want to clarify this misconception also that yung dog daw or yung cat is meron na rabies ever since. Then, namamatay daw sila pag nakakagat kasi nagtatransfer yung rabies. So, true, nagtatransfer yung rabies. But it's not true yung whole belief natin. Kasi, the dog that is infected with rabies or the rabbit animal will eventually die within 14 days if nakuha nila yung infection. Not because nakakagat sila. Because they have the infection. So, with their Naka, naka bite sila ng tao or hindi. 14, within 14 days, namamatay sila. Kaya lang, mostly, nakakagat or nakakabite sila ng yung mga rabid animal. Nakaka, so, nakapaak. Yung nakakagagat sila ng tao. Dahil, mer aggressive na kasi sila. Dahil sa rabies. So, kaya sila mostly nangagat. Nangagat. So, that is also why 14 days observation is observed kung nakagat ka ng aso. That is, not, that is also why, the one that is also why, that we don't advise na patayin yung aso. Isa rin yun sa parameter to observe the dog within 14 days if they have rabies or wala. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Fourth one is availing treatment through a tando, tampal, bahay na bato, or application of garlic on the bite wound can help the victim avoid rabies. I guess some of you might, my, 
disagree with this one, but I would like to explain you the reason or some aspects why it is not advisable. So first is yung tando, pinabato, or any other type of traditional uh, parang treatment of rabies is not advisable. Kung sa Bisaya, it's sangra. It's not advisable because, uh, di ba magsusugat kanyan? I don't know asan apart sa body, but di ba meron ka, may, basta magsusugat sila. Uh, lalagyan nila niya sugat kasi sabi na doon daw lalabas yung rabies uh, could cause one infection and that and those as well. So it's not advisable. Second is the garlic. So garlic has the property na nakakapag burn ng wound. Nag inflame yung whole food. Yung food niya nag inflame. I will just insert picture of sample. It's not from the patient. It's from the internet but this is what it looks like. Parang ganun siya. Ganun yung mangyayari. So never put uh, garlic on the bite wound because it would cause burning. Of course, advisable things and the proper procedure to do when you are bitten. First is wash with the running water for 15 minutes with detergent soap and then second is apply antiseptic solution such as betadine. Do not cover the wound. Please do not cover the wound and go to your nearest animal by treatment center or animal by clinic. Depending kasi yun, kinakategorize kasi yung bite wound mo depending on what part ka nakagat sa, ano, sa body mo. So, always seek, seek medical help. It's only post-exposure prophylaxis that rabies can be prevented. So, I would like to emphasize prevention because that would lead us to our fifth one. Rabies is not 100% fatal. No, rabies is 100% fatal but 100% preventable. There is no cure for rabies, but we can prevent. Once the animal or the person manifests signs and symptoms of rabies, wala na talaga yung cure. And for dogs, they will die 14 days, within 14 days. For the human, um, usually, um, mag manifest yung symptoms a years, years after years. But once they have the symptoms, there is no cure. So, um, kawawa talaga yung person pag nakakuha. Most important thing to do is have your dogs vaccinated. Take good care of them. That is being a responsible pet owner. And of course, always remember to have your dog vaccinated yearly. That is an updated vaccination of the dog. And we are very lucky that the, our local government is giving um, free previous vaccination sa dog. If you're gonna ask me if there is a human, human to human transmission, yes, there is a human to human transmission provided that the human is infected with rabies. So once the human is infected, infected with rabies, na nashay, meron na siyang signs and symptoms of rabies, at nakakagat siya ng tao, so possible na ma infected din yung human na yun. Pero if ay nakagat ka ng tao, pa wala siyang rabies, of course hindi na. Of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to share it to your loved ones as well. And by the way, I would like to shout out to this beautiful people who leave beautiful comments on my previous video thank you so much for leaving beautiful comments and for watching my videos it really means a lot to me thank you so much please don't forget to leave love leave a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and of course follow me on my social media accounts sure bye see you on my next one